Welcome back to our tutorial series on making a promotional banner image for a website. Um, as you can see, we've got our, our swimming pool background, our baby in there, we've got the key text. So you might think we're finished. Uh, we're telling the visitor what it is that's on offer, but actually we really want to offer them a way to react or respond to this information. Um, in our case here, it is that we, we really want them to book their place for a swimming lesson. Um, if it was something else, if we were promoting a, a new blog post, it might be that we want to add a link that says, you know, read now or something. But in our case, we want them to book now. So we're going to add a button that really stands out against the background with a nice strong contrasting colour and clearly says, you know, book now to get your swimming lessons. So to do that, we're going to add a, a bright red rectangular shape to our image. So if we have a look at the tools on our left hand side, at the bottom you'll see some quick shapes and there are a variety of shapes we could choose from, but we're going to be using the rectangular shape. And all you need to do is click and drag where you want it to appear and it produces a big black rectangle. So we can change the colour by double clicking, it's added a new layer for this shape and uh, we can double click on the path thumbnail and you can change its fill type and fill colour so something that really stands out against the background so if we would had like a bluey colour it wouldn't really stand out and people wouldn't notice it so much but anything that's quite rich, so a nice big pink or yellow orange or red even a green probably could stand out Red's a great colour because it, it sort of immediately grabs your attention. So we'll choose that. And rather than being a really square rectangle, I'd quite like to have a nice rounded outside. So again, just make sure I've got my thumb selected just by clicking, sorry, my path selected by clicking on it. You'll see it just puts a, a white edge around it. And then grabbing this thing called the node tool that lets me edit the outline of the shape. And now I click again on the shape I want to edit and it brings up this slider on the left. Now if I were to drag up it would give me some inward rounding, if I drag down it gives me some outward rounding and that's, I just, you can go really round but I just want a kind of a subtle rounded corner effect so I'm just going to bring it in just a little bit. Excellent, okay and I would like to add some text that says book now on here so I'm going to grab the text tool again, click and drag and book now. Now this is obviously again the wrong font so I'm going to go and choose, I think I'll choose my fluffy slacks again because I like that font um, and make it white and I'm going to just condense it a little bit so it looks a bit compressed together but it fits nicely on my button and there we go, I've got a nice big action point for the user to respond to. What I'm going to do, I'm going to actually group these two layers together and name my new group Book Now Button so that I can move that button around and resize it and they kind of stay together, much as we did with the icons here. So there we go, I've got a nice button, it's almost finished. In our next tutorial we're just going to do a bit of finishing touches by adding some layer effects to give some nice little drop shadow effects just to help our text stand out against the background. Um, we're also possibly going to add a little blur effect to the swimming pool again just so that it helps the text be a little bit more legible and we'll even add a little bit of shadow just around the baby so that the baby also just um, looks like it's merging in a little bit more naturally with the background.